Hey guys, here we are in Excel and we are learning about the pivot table and the pivot chart. And this is something super cool and like so easy to do. Pivot! And um, it's like free marks in any exam, guys. You know this stuff, it's free marks, okay? Watch how easy this is. Pivot! Pivot! So here we have an example of people's names their grade that they are in, so it's like a school, okay? And donations that they have made to something. A new computer center. Oh, yes. Okay, maybe not. But anyway, so we're going to use what's called a pivot table to analyze this data and then create a pivot chart based on that data, okay? So what is a pivot table? A pivot table is basically just a way of being able to manipulate data or process data to show what we want to see out of it. So it's kind of like... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Filtering and sorting, okay? You know when we have a table and we filter and sort the table? It's kind of like that, but I'm gonna show you how it works in Excel. Have a look, guys. First thing is I'm going to click on cell A1, okay? Because I'm going to have to, I'm gonna to want to have to use, I'm going to want to have to use all of this data right here. And it's quite a bit, eh? Let's see, how much do we actually have? We've got like 500 people, okay? So 500 students from, grade 8 all the way through to grade 12 have all donated money man this computer center is gonna be great so I click over here okay great then we got to insert and here in my insert tab my tables group there it is over there pivot table okay so I click pivot table now the first thing that it does is it asks you where is this range okay and it automatically assumes and tries to select the most likely range, which is our table at the moment. So from A1 all the way down to C501. That's perfect. So it has done that for me automatically. If you had selected that manually, then it would have done this as well. And where do we want to place this pivot table? Do you want to place it in a new worksheet or on the existing worksheet? I'm going to put it on a new worksheet for now. And then I'll, well, you know what? I'm going to put it on here, okay, the location, on the, on the, right here. Then you can see what it does. And then I'm going to say why I prefer it in a new worksheet, just because you have space to work with, okay. But let me just show you the difference between the two while we're here. So I'm going to say, choose where you want the pivot table to be placed, existing worksheet, location. Well, let's do it like right here. I mean, let's just do it right there. So that's going to be E5. So I click E5. There you see it. It selects donations, which is the worksheet that I'm on. E5. And I click OK. Now, nothing's really happened, but you can see we've got this like table form thing up here. And then we have this, all of these fields on the right hand side, like this whole pivot table fields and this whole panel going on here. Okay. So here we can see now, okay, we have to build our pivot table. We've selected the data, but now we are going to decide what do we want to extract? What do we want to show from this data? So I've got the fields here, first name, donations, and grade. At the bottom here, I've got filters, columns, rows, and values. Now watch what happens. If I just click on uh, grade, okay, it's going to pop it down automatically into values. If I click on donations, it does the same thing. But now I actually want to be able to see all the grades, okay, uh, grade eight to 12, and then the sum of their donations. So I'm gonna take grade over here, okay, it says sum of grade, because it's adding, and I'm gonna move that across just to the left here into rows. So I'm gonna put the grades in rows. Have a look, there you go, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I put the grades in rows, here they are here, and then I've calculated the value for each of those as a sum, and then you can see the sum is there. So that's like the most straightforward, easiest way of doing this, okay. I'm gonna show you a few more things with this data and also putting it on a new sheet altogether. So I'm going to delete this, all right, it is gone. Go back here, insert, pivot table, it's selected that there, and I'm gonna say a new worksheet this time. Click OK. Right, here we are on a new worksheet, okay? Here it is there, sheet number two, and here is my table ready to be built and everything else that I need. So I'm going to choose a donations. That's gonna go into the values area or section. Grade, you know what? You can actually just do this, watch this. Grade, I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna drag it down into rows 
there it is okay so you don't have to click and then move things right you can actually just drag it straight there as well which is pretty cool and then here it says in the value it says sum of donations now at the moment this is just numbers and I would like that to be formatted as a currency so watch what you do guys click on your little drop down arrow here the value field settings are there and it says summarize values as show values as show values as what and over here you can see I can't select anything I've got to go to number format number format I want to show these values as currency click OK click OK and they are now displayed as currency now this is the fun part about pivot tables is that you can take these fields and sort of move them around into the different areas the different blocks and just see what they do so for example if I took grade and I put that into filters okay watch what happens to my data okay I've got a sum of all donations I've got this in row number one now I've got it says grade and it says all I can actually go here click on this all I'm gonna make that a bit bigger for you guys and I can select a specific grade so I can go to grade 10 for example and click OK there we have I've filtered my data by the grade 10s and there it is there okay or I can say select multiple items move that down a bit there is again sorry my screen is small so and I can do maybe just eight and nine like the you know before the tens and the twelves is eight and nine click OK and there we are eight and nine there's the sum of their donations let's put this back here and show you what a chart will do okay oh you know what and let's just clear the filter from grade there we go so guys that is what a pivot table really is it's the easiest easiest thing you can either select your content hit insert pivot table or just go to the top the beginning cell of your content insert pivot table okay the rest is here and you kind of just you know what play around with it and see what it does when you see a drop down arrow click on it okay click on it see what you can do now the chart part of this the chart part super easy as well watch this I'm clicking on my table here so I can have access to my pivot table insert pivot charts I mean this is not rocket science guys insert pivot table insert pivot charts click on pivot chart it's going to go with the most likely recommended chart that it will use in this case a clustered column I'm happy with that click OK and voila we now have a pivot chart I mean it looks kind of like a normal chart and it mostly is I mean you can do pretty much everything else that you could do with a normal chart here but the difference is we have a live filter option here and I can actually change data dynamically if I just go and choose maybe 11s and 12s I click OK I can actually change data automatically and have it charted or graphed right away I don't actually have to go and reselect certain pieces of data or certain columns or certain rows I can actually set my filters right here which is actually very very nice and there you go guys a pivot table and a pivot chart Paper! shut up shut up shut up